Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about using guided access with your communication app on your iPad. This is a common problem with our students who are trying to use AAC uh, on their iPad only, meaning it's we're trying to use it as a dedicated device even though it's not. So guided access is a way that we can keep our students in the communication app at all times. So I'm gonna show you today how to do that. So first we're gonna go up here to settings and we're gonna go over here and find accessibility. And then once you select accessibility, we're going to go down and find guided access right here. So we select that and we're going to turn it on and you can see we can set up a passcode passcode settings. And it's going to ask if we want to put in numbers or if we want to put in a touch ID. If this is, is a device that's going between home and school or various places and someone is going to need access to editing or maybe needing out of the app for certain things, we want to go ahead and set up a passcode rather than a touch ID. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in all ones and have that set. Again, touch ID, that limits it to who can go in and change things. So we wanna go find our app. I'm gonna go into touch chat. <clears throat> and now when I click this three times really fast, it goes into guided access. So you triple click three times really fast. And sometimes that takes some practice to get used to, but you can do it. And now we're locked into the app. So if the child or the individual tries to get out of the app using the home button, we'll get this message up here saying that they're unable to do so. If someone tries to continue to hit that home button, this number will increase up here at the top and you won't be able to get out of it. You won't be able to try to that code for a little while. So it'll take, it'll say like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 180 seconds versus you know, getting into it right away. So just know that's an issue. So right now, it now is a communication system only. The thing about guided access, if the iPad runs out of charge, it will automatically go out of guided access. So whoever is using that device will be able to get into other apps if that happens once it charges back up. So just know that's something you'll have to take care of and keep an eye on. So to get back out, I'm gonna triple click three times again. And I'm gonna put in my really fancy code that I used. And now you can see it'll say end or resume. And I wanna go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and end. So now I can go back out of the app again. Just know when you go back in, I'm gonna hit it again, start it. I'm gonna lock try and go back out of it again real quick. When you get to this page, you can hit resume and go back to the locked iPad page, or there are options down here. One of the things that I've learned over time is this touch button sometimes gets hit on accident. And what that does is it shades a certain area of your screen. So when you go back into resume, it, you cannot access those parts of the device. Obviously that's not real great for communication. Sometimes we might shade like the X out if we have a kid or somebody who's really perseveratively hitting that delete button all the time. Um, but that just know that we don't normally do that a lot. But if that does happen and you get a gray little slice of things like that, you can go in and you just delete it. There's a little X up here to delete that. The other thing that sometimes happens is if, if this is toggled off like that, see how the whole screen turns gray? And then if I go back to resume, it looks like it's none of it's grayed out, right? So if I hit this and I'm thinking, why isn't it accessing my pages? Why isn't it doing anything? Well, it's because that touch limit has been toggled off. So we wanna go ahead and make sure that stays on. So just know that's one of those things that you may have to problem solve. Sometimes that's happened to me. The other features in here, as far as volume buttons, you can change the volume. I tend to leave it so that our individuals can change their volume when needed. Motion, meaning it's locked in one position. I like it to stay in any position um, and so forth. So just know there are other options in here for you to be able to look through. Um, but anyway, that's how you get in and out of guided access. I hope that was helpful.